the show starts in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The following program contains mature content. Any opinions expressed are those solely of the host and any guests. Listener discretion strongly advised. Hey everybody, welcome. Welcome to another virtual campfire sit down. We lovingly call Weiss Thoughts. I'm your host, Terry Weiss. And I'd like to thank each and every one of you for stopping by the podcast today. On each episode of Voice Thoughts, you get a tour of my mind. Sometimes it could be a scary place. It's not for the faint of heart, but if you're an adult and you can handle some tough love, this is the place for you. Make sure you check out the website, weissthoughts.com. W-Y-C-E. Just make sure you spell my name right, okay? Weissthoughts.com. And if you want to email me, it's mail at weissthoughts.com. On this episode of Weiss Thoughts, stop settling for less. We're going to talk about how you can stop settling for less than you deserve on this episode on Weiss Thoughts. So grab yourself a beverage, make yourself comfortable. And get ready for it. Stop settling for less on this episode of Waste Thoughts. Coming up in just a bit. And now a man who needs no introduction. Here's your host, Terry Weiss. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to the program. Welcome to Weiss Thoughts. I am, of course, Terry Weiss, and I am so overjoyed and glad that you are with us today. Uh, how are you doing out there? Is everybody doing well? I hope so. Uh, did you have a have a nice Halloween? Okay. We are now into November here, uh, 2022, and um, heading towards Thanksgiving. Uh, hopefully, you're going to have a lot to be thankful, thankful for on this Thanksgiving this year in 2022. I mean, the country's in kind of a bit of a... It's in a bit of a pickle. It's in a bit of a mess, but uh, we we waxed poetic about that on past few episodes, and I don't want to go on because that just sends me down the inevitable uh, spiral of being pissed off. And I I don't really want to be too pissed off today. I don't want to be too uh, full of angst when we speak and when you're listening to this. Um, However, however, uh, a couple real quick things here. Uh, Again, Weissthoughts.com is the uh, website address, W-Y-C-E. Just make sure you spell my name right, okay? Weissthoughts.com. If you want to check out more episodes of the podcast, also you can visit purplepitstudios.com for that as well. And while you're there, why not check out all all the other programs that Purple Pit Studios offers? Uh, There's other podcasts there as well. Uh, They offer voiceover services and, and things of that nature. Uh, so check out purplepitstudios.com. Uh, you'd be glad you did. And, hey, do us a favor. If you like this podcast or any of the other podcasts you listen to over there at purplepitstudios.com, do us a favor. Leave us a positive rate and review, would you please? We would certainly appreciate it. And share us with your friends. So as promised uh, on the teaser to the program today, I want to talk to you about settling for less than you deserve. Okay, don't settle for less. Is the uh, the episode title for today's program, and this applies in many many facets of society nowadays, my friends. Um, 
I've noticed it all over the place. I've started doing uh, some cognitive reflective thought on this. And what got me going on this and why I want to talk to you about it today on the program on Weiss Thoughts of how not to settle for less than you deserve is that I was doing some financial reviews. You know, I mean, we're all, let's face it, we're all in the United States in the throes of this massive, massive inflation of which the likes of which we haven't seen for 40 plus years. Uh, prices are sky high on you name it, anything. I mean, any anything from toilet paper to wipe your ass to food to put in your, you know, in your body. Um, mortgage rates are, are very, very high. They're well over almost seven and a half percent now. Uh, thankfully, me and the wife got the home many, many years ago and refinanced uh, many years ago before the current uh, inept people that are running our nation right now got in. Uh, pre-pandemic and all that, we were uh, unfortunately, well, not for unfortunately, we were fortunately I had the foresight and uh, you know the wherewithal to just kind of do the best for us. And uh, you know, I mean, home heating, uh, basic utilities, gas, insurance. If you're a renter, your rent, you know, everything's high. Okay. Getting back to get on point though of, of not settling for less than you deserve or not to, you know, stop settling for less, uh, on the financial side, you know, I, I do a lot of things online and on the internet and probably like many of you out there, I have subscription services. Okay. Everything from Netflix to Hulu. Um, you know, I, I, I'm a big Apple, I guess you can call me an Apple fanboy. I just, I, I started with the Apple products well over a decade ago, uh, when I was searching for cell phones and I wanted something that just worked. And to this day, they still basically, I don't know what your experience has been, but honestly, Apple products just, they just fucking work. <laughs> there ain't no other way to say it. Now, I know a lot of you out there, out of the, you know, the Apple haters of, well, you pay the Apple tax and you do that and you pay more. I mean, I get it. All right. I know where you're coming from. And what I'm going to tell you in just a few, a few mere moments, you're going to probably, you know, say, well, see, see, I told you. However, that being said, for me, Apple products, and and finally got my wife out of a out of the Android phone after after of ten long years. She loves her iPhone now. She loves her iPad. Uh, you know, she has less frustration, less lockups, less you know time you know things you know with the spinning circle while you're waiting for something to happen. Uh, sorry, a little uh, liquid refreshment there for the pipes, and um, so she's she's happy about it. I and she I told her I said see. She goes, so this is what you talk about. Uh, yeah, when you use something on a day-to-day -day basis, especially like 99% of the population here in the U United States of America, we carry cell phones. Uh, you want something, I always told people, look at, if you want something that just works, get an iPhone. I mean, unless you're kicking it down the stairs every day, taking it for a swim, throwing it against a wall, it just works. It just works. That's all there is to it. Uh, the software is... is you know, very um, smooth. The uh, The overall experience is very smooth. And again, this is not a commercial for Apple or iPhone. I'm just saying. But anyway, the point I'm getting at, the point I'm getting at right now that I'm taking so long to get there uh, it, and taking to get it there is I was reviewing. I got a lot of subscriptions, like probably a lot of you out there do. Um, you know, I pay for things like just for an example, for Apple, I was paying, uh, you know, 10 bucks a month for a two terabyte of storage to their iCloud Plus. Uh, I was paying for Apple Music because for me and with the studio in here, everything just integrates into the computers and the studio and everything. Paying $10 a month for that, actually paying one hundred nine dollars a year for the uh, the annual plan for it. Now, the other thing too, I once Apple News came along, I liked the idea of all the magazines I used to pay, you know, $20, $30 or 1999 a year for to subscribe to. On these magazines, you can get everything digitally. I can read it on my iPad anywhere, download it, save it forever, what have you. I was paying, again, $9.99, $119 a year for Apple News Plus. And, you know, being able to get different sources, music magazine, all kinds of magazines and news sources and that to scour the internet instead of having me having to scour. Now, that being said, those services, are, oh, and by the way, Apple TV Plus. Yes, I was an Apple TV, uh, I am an Apple TV Plus subscriber Kind of bummed that they're raising it from $4.99 to $6.99. That's a pretty big jump. 
Uh, that was going to be $70 a year for their annual plan. So I, I added all that up, okay, and, and it was well over four hundred and like thir- almost $430 for that, for just those services. So I was doing a little more research, you know, because I heard about this Apple One, and they have Apple One, what's called Apple One Premium, which not only gives you all the services I already use, the Apple Music, the iCloud Plus, the Apple News Plus, how, they also throw in uh, Apple Fitness and uh, Arcade, which, I, whatever. You know, I, I really don't play games, but okay. The wife likes to play little games on her iPad. And it, you know, for just, a, I don't know, mind-numbingly waste time is what I call it. But anyway, uh, you can get this for, like, I think it's $32 in some sense, $32.95 a month. Okay, it comes to like $33 a month with tax or whatever. And you get everything bundled in one. I share it with her. Plus, I can share it for up to four more people in my family if I want to. So I'm like, wait a minute. So I added that cost and compared it to what I was paying individually for just moi, for myself. And I went, holy shit, I could save about a good $60 a year and just get the Apple uh, Apple One Premium. And, you know, okay, if I want to do some workouts with the Apple you know, Fitness Plus there and then if she can play the games or whatever. I'm saving like 60 bucks a year just by doing it that way. Boom, changed over to that. Now, another thing with subscriptions, I I don't know if you subscribe, maybe you out there may. I do. I've been an Apple or a, I've been a YouTube premium subscriber now for a couple of years. Uh, the price has gone up here here and there a little bit. Uh, I was paying through the Apple store, you know, through the, uh, the app on my phone to subscribe to it, $12.99 a month plus tax. It was like $14.03 a month, which is over $168 a year. I came across some information here uh, just before we went live here to, to record the program for you today. I found, found somebody on YouTube that says, hey, if you're doing this, uh, you're a fool doing it through Apple. Get it directly through Google and you could save a shit ton of money. So I watched the video. And lo and behold, I canceled through the uh, through the app store there because you were paying extra for it, and uh, went to the rate buying it right through Google themselves. They have an indi- individual plan for YouTube Premium, which gives you uninterrupted videos. You can download them, what have you. Plus, you get YouTube Music, which I could care less about. But if you want to watch a music video, or whatever, yay. But it's mainly the YouTube Premium because I can't stand commercials. It was eleven ninety nine a month as opposed to twelve ninety nine a month, and no tax. However, here's the caveat: they offer a yearly plan for YouTube Premium that you can buy directly through Google for only one nineteen ninety nine a month, which breaks down to guess what? Ding 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 ding, ten dollars a month. It breaks down to. I just saved over four dollars and three cents a month, which if you break it down is another savings of about $50 a year over what I was paying the other way. So between the two services, I just saved over $110 a year. $110. That's a lot of money. And I've got everything yearly now. I can go yearly. There you go. So don't settle for less. You don't have to be paying premium for everything. There's ways out there. That's one way, just a quick example, that you don't have to settle for less. Another way that you don't have to settle for less as a person, you notice that uh, companies are kind of really taking advantage of consumers lately, some of them out there. Not all of them. Not all of them, mind you. But a few companies are kind of taking advantages uh, with the with their consumers. Uh one of the ways is, have you tried to call maybe a company or utility company or something and try to speak to a live human being? And let's say you finally do get a representative and let's say you can't resolve your issue through that representative. Have you noticed that a lot of companies now are are putting up the veritable uh, moat around the castle if you ask to speak to a supervisor or someone in charge? A lot of companies have done away with allowing you to actually speak to a supervisor They'll just take your information and say, well, we'll have someone call you back. And good luck waiting on that. You know, you'll get a call back. It might not be for one, two, three, four, five, six days sometimes. 
But a few companies are really taking advantage of the, uh, the consumer out there and just kind of heading the consumer off at the pass and not allowing you your right as a customer, I would say, your right as a customer to, if you can't resolve an issue at a lower level, to kind of speak to someone higher in charge to see if you can kind of move the football a little further down the field and, and resolve a, an issue or a question you have. A little more liquid refreshment here. Mm, good stuff. Anyway, um, you know, so don't let companies do that to you. Don't settle for less. Nobody says you have to settle for less. At the end of the day, folks, especially, especially when it's your dollars you're spending, you have all the power. Think about it. You have the power. Now, I know some of you out there are probably shaking your heads and saying, well, what does you know a multi-billion dollar company give a shit if I just say, well, hell with it, I, I'm going to go elsewhere. Well, here's a couple things. First of all, you have to be ready to move elsewhere or take your business elsewhere and find alternatives rather than be um, blackmailed, I should say, or forced to settle for less. You have to be ready with those alternatives. Because I was ready for some alternatives uh, in the previous example I gave you as far as trying to cut down a little bit on a yearly fees for some of the subscriptions that we have. Now, you have to be ready to make that move or sacrifice or have a plan of action in place to do so, okay, should push come to shove. So be prepared. Be prepared if you have to do that. Have some kind of plan of action. Now, I'm not saying call up these companies and be a total tool and a fool and treat them with disre disrespect, okay? That, no. But don't allow them to bully you, these companies, into saying, well, you know, it's just the way it is. Because there's lots of things you can do. I was grocery shopping the other day in one of our markets here in town. I like Dr. Pepper. I, I'm a Dr. Pepper person. I like Pepsi too, but I like to, I'm, I'm more partial to, for some reason, I just like Dr. Pepper. I don't know. Maybe some of you out there do too. And by the way, it mixes great with bourbon. But anyway, and any other whiskey you want to put with it. However, uh, it's getting expensive. They even had something on sale, two, two liters of Dr. Pepper for $4 and thought that was a great sale. That's two bucks a piece. You used to be able to get a two liter for like 99 cents. So that's a, you know, that's basically doubling the cost. More than doubling the cost. Now, the store had a generic form of Dr. Pepper called Dr. T or something else. And it was only 88 cents for a two liter. So I thought, you know what? I'll spend the two bucks by the time you get done with the bottle deposit in New York and everything. I'll, I'll, I'll spend two dollars and get two of them as opposed to spending four dollars to get two of them. 50 percent savings to me. And we'll see what happens. If I don't like it, I can pour it down the drain. <laughs> right. But it's two bucks. At least I know. Well, I tried some, and lo and behold, there really isn't that big of a difference in the taste. Just maybe, maybe a slight difference where the Dr. Pepper has a little more of that tanginess, if you know what I'm saying, if you've ever had Dr. Pepper. But other than that, not not a big difference in taste. It's probably made in the same damn um, factory and location, just put in a different bottle, being generic. You don't have to settle for you know less you don't have to settle for paying more for the same stuff there's ways around it another way you shouldn't settle for less is to allow yourself okay to be victimized by your employer a lot of employers now like and i think we've seen the great pushback too with the great resignation with regards to that workers are finally standing up for themselves a little bit more uh and not just being the cubicle numbers because I've said it on many programs in the past. You can pull back past episodes of Voice Thoughts, and I'll say it again because it bears repeating. If you were to die today, your job would have you replaced within seven days. I'm just telling you. And it's just a blanket statement. Your job basically doesn't give a fuck about you. You are a number. You are there to produce. You are a worker bee. That's all you are. And as much as they might throw you a pizza party and, and give you the virtual pat on the back or the pat on the back at the office or, hey, the great smiles, you're so great, seven days, they'd replace you when you die. And I doubt any of you, uh, any of anybody from your company would even go to your funeral. I'm, and I'm not saying that to be jaded, mind you. Don't, don't get me wrong. I mean, I like, I like my job. I like my outside job besides this, too. I, I love where I work. Don't get me wrong, but they are not my life. 
Work is not my life. My life is not work. My, my work is in my life, but it's not my life. At the end of the day, you have to be happy and nurture your relationships and live your life because it goes by fast, friends. Trust me. Speaking as a guy who's staring down 60 here in a few years, 60 you're going to be 60 years old, and I don't mind telling you that. I'm not ashamed. I'm just saying I'm, I'm on the downslide heading towards 60, and I've worked a lot of years for a, lot of diff- uh, a few different companies. And they all have the same thing in common. While they'll be slap happy and good with you, they do sometimes try to take advantage. And you shouldn't have to settle for less and be taken advantage of. Now I'm saying don't go there and be a slug and just punch in and say, that's it, I'm going to do the bare minimum. Do your best, maybe do a little over, above, and beyond. But don't do this quiet quitting thing and all this other stuff. Do what you're supposed to do. Be a productive worker while you're there, but don't be taken advantage of by the having them have you do more for either same pay or less pay. Stand up for yourself because you deserve more. You deserve better. You should not settle for less. And one of the other things I'm going to talk to you about after the break here uh, has to do personally, psychologically with you. But we're going to take a short break. I'm going to come back. We're going to talk about that and a couple other things before we finish up on today's episode of Voice Thoughts. We'll be right back after this. Wearing his sunglasses indoors just because he wants to. Let's get back to the program. Here's your host... Terry Weiss. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Weiss Thoughts. Appreciate you joining us today for the podcast. And we're talking about not settling for less. Don't settle for less on this episode of Weiss Thoughts. Remember to check out the website, weissthoughts.com. Just make sure you spell my name right, W-Y-C-E, weissthoughts.com. Check out our partner site, purplebitstudios.com as well. And hey, if you like the show, leave us a positive rate and review and share us with your friends, would you please? All right. So let's get back into it about not settling for less. You shouldn't have to settle for less, folks, in any aspect of your life. And what I want to talk to you about right now is personal, like we talked about before the break and the tease before the break, on your personal life. You have a right to be happy. You have a right to be stress-free. You have a right to be healthy. You have a right to be respected as a human being, okay? So don't let anyone or anything or any situation take that away from you. You should never have to settle for any less than what you deserve. Now, society today puts a lot of pressure on people. I mean, everything's coming at us at 100 miles an hour. Everybody's involved and got to do this. I got to do that. I got to accomplish more. I got to, you know, produce more at my job. I got to be the, you know, the super mom or the super dad at home or the super parent or, you know, the super sibling or, you know, the super child to my parents. All I'm asking for you to do is to do some reflective soul searching and slow down and just write down five things that make you happy and what you feel you deserve. You know, you you don't deserve to be talked to like you're anything less than a good human being. Don't settle for less. I mean, don't let someone talk to you and disrespect you. Now, I'm not saying to get up in their face and start screaming or yelling or anything like that. No, no, no. What I'm talking about is don't stay in relationships with people that treat you with anything less than the basic decorum of respect. Don't feel obligated to that parent, that sibling, that whatever, spouse, friend, what have you, that you always got to say yes to them. Realize that you have self-worth, worth, not worse, self-worth. Don't settle for less for yourself. You should always put yourself before others. And what I mean, I know, I know that sounds like, man, that's a narcissistic statement, Terry. No, what I mean by it is you have to be in the right state of mind so you can be better for others as well. So you'll be able to assist and help others, be there for others. You can't do it if you're constantly putting yourself last. So take care of yourself. 
Give yourself proper rest. Don't volunteer to do everything because you want to look like the super good guy or gal. You know your limits. Only you, only you know your limits. So set boundaries. Don't settle for less. Don't settle for someone stepping over your boundaries and kind of, and uh, consistently pushing your boundaries in that. Now, there will be exceptions here and there. I understand that. But don't settle for less for yourself, being happy, being mentally okay, happy, uh, you know, being healthy. You know, I, I've known people that have been dog-ass sick, but they'll venture out and do something for somebody because they called and asked them to, et cetera, et cetera. No, you've got to take care of you first, my friends. You've got to take care of you. Because if you don't, most likely nobody else will. Remember, you deserve better. Don't settle for less. Don't. And on the final note here on the program, don't settle for less in people who we elect to elected office. Don't say, well, you know, I know they're going to raise my taxes. I know they're going to, you know, put shit in school that my kids, I don't want them to know about yet. But I guess, you know, what are you going to do? That's all we get. No, show up, vote, get involved in your communities. Don't turn a blind eye to things like that because you don't have to settle for less. I don't have to settle for less. I won't settle for less. I expect people expect a lot out of me. I'm sure people expect a lot out of you and a certain level in, in things you should expect that of others, too. Don't put yourself la last and put yourself behind. Don't do it. So stop settling for less. Don't be a narcissistic asshole. Be a good, decent human being, but don't settle for less. You don't deserve that. You're worth more. So, hey, thanks for joining me for this episode of Voice Thoughts. I am so glad to have had you here at the virtual campfire. And... Remember, if you like the podcast, leave us a positive rate and review. Until next time, my friends, remember to be the change you want in the world. It, you have to be it yourself. It starts with you, the person looking back at you in the mirror every day. Remember to be kind to yourself and others. And I look forward to gathering again around the virtual campfire with you on our next episode of Wise Thoughts. Take care. <laughs>